I am Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, today I will continue uh, problems related to um, graphing uh, functions which include absolute values. Um, basically, problem number two was introduction to this type of problems. And this is a typical problem in the whole series, actually. So um, I presented here for you just to take a look, press the pause button, think about what you can do yourself. Obviously, the methodology which you can use is exactly the same as uh, I was using in the previous problem, um, just basically determining the critical points and considering pieces of graph uh, on each segment between the critical points. Um, it's relatively straightforward. Uh, and the only problem is to do the accurate calculations. So try to do it yourself first, and uh, and I will continue with uh, uh, with the, my solution of this particular problem. Okay. Um, first of all, critical points. Critical points are those points where each of these um, expressions within the absolute value signs equal to zero. Um, in this particular case, that's x equals to minus 2. This one is um, x is equal to 1 critical point. And this one obviously is 2. So I have 1, 2, 3 critical points which means I have to divide my um, uh, x axis into three segments. This segment, this segment, this segment, and this segment. Four segments, actually, sorry. Three uh, critical points, and they divide the whole uh, x axis into four different segments. Now. Within each segment, I can determine the sign of the expression within the absolute values. It's always determined since it's in between these critical points. And that's why I can transform it without using the absolute values, right? <coughs> so segment number one, minus 2. Sorry. x less less than minus 2. OK. If x is less than minus 2, then this expression is negative. So I should write minus 2x plus 4. This will stand in a way. So let's put it here. Minus 2, uh, 1, and plus 2. These are three values. OK. So if it's less than minus 2, then my function is equal to. This is negative, so I reverse the sign in front of the parentheses. This is negative as well, so I reverse the sign to make it positive. Now, 2 minus x, uh, if x is uh, negative less than minus 2, is positive, so I can use it as is. So positive number in absolute value remains. Negative number, reverse the sign. Negative number, reverse the sign. Okay. And what is it equal to? Minus 2x minus 3x, that's minus 5x. And minus x, that's minus 6x. Um, minus 4 plus 3, it's minus 1. Plus 2, it's plus 1. Seems to be like this. Case number two, from minus two to one. 
this becomes positive. So y is equal to 2x plus 4, that's positive. This, since x is still less than 1, is negative, so absolute value, I have to reverse the sign. 3x minus 3. Now, if x is uh, less than 1, this is positive as it is. So it remains equals to 2x minus 3x minus 1x, and minus x is minus 2x, plus 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 2, 9. Now here, we have to do a mandatory check. This function is for um, values which are less than minus 2. And uh, this function is from minus 2 to 1. And when x is equal to minus 2, they should come up with the same number. Let's check. If x is equal to minus 2, this is 12 plus 1, 13. If x is equal to minus 2, times minus 2 is 4 plus 9, 13. Good. Check. So, so far we didn't make any arithmetic errors, which is a good sign. Now, 3. From 1 to 2. 2 is our next critical value, right? Okay. Uh, this will be positive. So we can retain the sign. This will be positive, so we can retain the sign. And this will still be positive, so we can retain the sign. So the overall result will be 2x plus 4 plus 3x minus 3 plus 2 minus x equals. <coughs> So O plus is here. Okay. 2x, 3x, 5x, minus x, it's 4x. Plus 4, minus 3 is 1, plus 2 is 3. Mandatory check. Mandatory, I mean mandatory. It really needs to be checked. It's very easy to make a mistake here. I'm doing mistakes very, very often. Um, OK, so the common uh, critical uh, point for these two expressions is 1. So what is uh, y if um, x is equal to 1 in this case? It's minus uh, 2 plus 9 is 7. And this one, if x is equal to 1, 4 plus 3, 7. So they meet at the same point. Good. Verification uh, is satisfied, and the last segment, which we have to consider, is when uh, uh, x is greater or equal to 2. So when it's very positive, this is positive, this is positive, and this is negative. So we should retain the signs of these guys and change this one. So y is equal to 2x plus 4 plus 3x plus, sorry, minus 3. And here we have to reverse the sign. It's minus 2 minus x. OK. Let's calculate 2x. 3x is 5x. And x is 6x. Four minus three is one. Minus two is minus one. Looks like this. Check. The common critical point is two. This one, if x is equal to two, is um, eight eleven, and this one is two times six twelve minus one eleven. So we're good. 
Great. So we basically have concluded our calculations. So the only thing which remains to be done is to draw the graph, which contains four different segments. And we have to draw it from these four different functions. Let me just rewrite that thing. I think it would be easier. So we have um, uh, x is not less than minus the first. x is less than minus 2. Then from minus 2 to 1, and then from 1 to 2, and greater than or equal than 2. And the values of the function will be uh, minus 6x plus 1, uh, minus 2x plus 9, 4x plus 3, and 6x minus 1. Okay, so let's just draw these four functions. We'll probably do it quite approximately, as you understand. So minus 2, 1, and 2. OK. Minus 6x plus 1. Again, let's calculate it on, uh, on the critical point, minus 2, which will be what? Uh, 13, right? So if x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 13. So this is where our P is supposed to end. Now, when it goes to uh, minus infinity, minus 6x plus 1, uh, x is like this, 6x is like this, minus 6x is like this, and plus 1 is this. So it's something like that this will be the line which we are interested in. Next. Minus 2x plus 9, from minus 2 to 1, so let's calculate it at 1. At minus 2, by the way, we already know that's 13, and at 1, it will be minus 2 plus 9, it's 7, so it's somewhere here. So the graph will go on this segment as a straight line between these two lines, between these two points. Okay, from 1 to 2, it's 4x plus 3. Let's calculate it at the critical point 2, which is uh, 11. So at 2, it will be 11, something like this. This is 7. So it will go like this. And finally, 6x minus 1, and again at 2, it's equal to 11, so it's the same number. And then it grows quite steeply, steeper. This is 4x, so 6x will be steeper than that. That. Right. So our graph contains four segments joined together, uh, which looks basically like, like, like this graph. Well, again, if you have 10 different uh, uh, absolute values, uh, 10 different expressions, each containing absolute value. You just have to have 10 different critical points and consider one of them after another uh, sequentially. And within each segment, you know the sign of each component so you can get rid of the absolute value. So that's the general approach when you should take. Well, that concludes this problem number three. Thank you very much.